Welcome to Toffee TV. It's the starting 11 show. Everton versus Bournemouth. A game surely the Toffees have to be getting three points from, no matter what. Let's get into it. Jordan Pickford in goal. Yes, obviously he has to uh, make sure he doesn't do anything silly like he did last Saturday, but obviously came through the game in the week against Doncaster without any issues. So obviously he'll start in goal. A back four. Um, I think... Wasn't sure about this one, but I think with Seamus Coleman coming back, I'd like to see Dixon continue. But I think with Seamus Coleman being back, I think... It's probably best just to start him. But I'd like to see Dixon as the backup for this game. The player who can come on for him with maybe an hour or 70 minutes gone. And that's really important. I thought Dixon did well last week, but um, I can understand the importance of having that experience in the back line. Um, but yeah, Dixon ready to come on for him with, like after an hour or something, depending on how the game's going. So Seamus back in there. At left back, Michalenko, of course. Because um, he's our only left back, but again, he's another one where you know he, he's looking for that sharpness and another game under his belt during the week. Probably go away and get a couple of games for Ukraine as well. So uh, he he will continue at centre back. James Tarkowski who missed out on the game in the week, which was good because obviously he was a doubt last week. He's another one who needs needs uh, this break, I think, to come along to again. That sharpness is not quite there. I had a couple of injuries during, during the uh, pre-season and, and the start of the season. So good for him to get a break, but hopefully he'll be uh, he'll be ready for this one. Alongside them, I'm going for Jake O'Brien. I thought he did all right in the week. And I just think between him and Michael Keane, I don't think there's much there at the moment, but I just think having someone like that gives everyone a lift, gives gives the uh, the fans a lift. And I think he he's ready for his... For his, that, his debut in the Premier League. Now, you know, how long he stays in the team, who knows, because of Jared Branthwaite. When will he be back? But I'd like to see Jake being given an opportunity in this game. Uh, ahead of them, I'm going for a midfield pairing of Adrissa Garner Gay and James Garner uh, to be that solid pairing in front of the back four. And in front of them, I'm going for Tim Iribunum in a slightly more advanced role. So I'm going to put the three of them on the side, but I think Tim has got the ability to break forward with the ball. And I think maybe taking some of the defensive shackles off him and hopefully him pressing higher in the pitch and nicking the ball higher in the pitch and then taking it on will, will help him uh, develop his game and allow those other two players to be more of a defensive unit. Just a guy and a gay hunting down the ball and James Garner being on the ball. James Garner, of course, likes to tackle as well. And that gives you, I think, a pretty solid three across the, the midfield and then allows the players in front of them to be more offensive, which is exactly what we need um, at the moment. So, yeah. So, moving into the right wing. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit tricky because we are struggling for players uh, unless something mad happens which it's not going to happen is it right now because if we we can't sign anyone now and play them tomorrow but um on the right hand side i'm going for dwight mcneil which is like shoehorning him in i appreciate that but him cutting in on his left foot um is i is is what he does really it's probably you know something we don't see very often because he doesn't play on the right now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want Njai on the other side. Uh, I think he has to play, and I think that three in midfield will really help him as well, have more of a sort of a free role, be able to move off the left-hand side like we see Dwight McNeil do. Dwight McNeil, at times, never plays on the left-hand side and plays more central. I think Njai, that's a, that's a much more fitting role for him. So him on the left-hand side, picking the ball up, cutting inside, having a little bit of space, allowing one of those midfielders to come over and cover him. Now, that could happen on the right hand side as well, and James Garner could possibly go out there and 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 just cover that space at times as well. But it depends what what the manager wants to do. And ahead of them, I'm going for Beto. Scored in the week. Um, as a city right now, recording this video, I have no idea whether Dominic Calvert-Lewin will be an Everton player by the time this game kicks off. I don't know. Now, if he if he is still an Everton player, where's his head going to be? Do you know what I mean? Where's his Where's his mind going to be for this game? So, I think if he stays, then put him on the bench for this game. He's got a couple of weeks then to sort his head out. 
Um, and Beto's chomping at the bit. And no matter what you think of him, he does give absolutely everything. The lad scored last year against Bournemouth. And uh, we'll be absolutely up for this game, knowing that maybe, maybe if he gets it right in this game, he, you know, the fans will be pushing for him to start games with everything surrounding Dominic Carvalho Loon. So I'm going to go for Beto in this one. So that's my 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you go for that? Tell me what you would go for if it's not that. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to check out the match preview with Jack and myself. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, come over to Toffee TV Premier. We've got loads of exclusive videos, daily live videos. Make sure to click the link in the description or the QR code come up on the screen now. See you later.